Well, hi there. I've now uh, come back and I've uh, digressed to the lovely garden. And it is a, a lovely day at the moment. You've got to cherish the, uh, the weather, haven't you, in the UK? Right. So I just wanted to fire in about the, uh, the thing that was playing on my mind about the fingerprints. So the fingerprints, now there's a number of uh, different opinions on this. And we would need to, to look into that if needed be. But I don't think there is a need to look at that because all they were doing is trying to identify the body of B&J, which is kind of important, but isn't it more important to look at the post-mortem and the autopsy to find out how he died? And with all the suspicions around this, all the criminal records and everything else that went on before, that it was not just a missing person case, surely you just identify someone as somebody has mentioned, as many of people have mentioned by their teeth, providing he'd uh, had a history of going to a dentist, I presume. So this fingerprint business is... <laughs> would have, I normally, unless I'm running, and I run a long distance... We used to when I was younger, but not so much now. But anyway, um, I don't carry my driver license with me. But when I'm when I'm cycling, I can put it in my back pocket, and I'm not sweaty. It doesn't run around everywhere. I keep my phone. No, I don't keep. I keep my phone on me when I'm cycling, not when I'm running. So what I'm trying to say is, I can be identified because when I'm walking around, I normally camera wallet, and I've got a driving license in there. Always had. You carry some sort of card or debit card with you with the name on, wouldn't you? So, presumably, I don't understand this strangeness with belongings being not with him or something. I don't know. They fell off. I don't know if somebody could shed a light on that. And also, why haven't they told the family? Because the family have said this of where the body was found in the ravine. Why, apparently... We had an eyewitness with the rescue team that says the body was found on the Saturday or Sunday in the early hours at 2 a.m. Why they were working in the dark then, I don't know. Seems quite a rush because I know this little Holland team of three people and a dog or whatever it was were coming out and they were a bit worried about this. So somebody said, oh, it's hearsay, isn't it? I shouldn't say that anyway. Um, so why didn't they tell the family where the body actually was because some families a lot of families if you see accidents on the roadside they like to put flowers beside the road and belongings and things of where the actual person fell or pretty close to so if you've got to traverse down a, a cliff and we're not talking about 4,000 feet of cliff are we it, is it classed as a mountain I don't know but it's not that it was a cliff but they won't show us anyway they said ravine but presumably and we're just going on the fact that he um, he did stab himself in the leg with a cactus because Lucy said that on one of her phone messages. She said he was stabbed in the leg by a cactus. Okay, we've got that CCTV. It could be dodgy CCTV that kind of delved in and she was shouting at him and said, about stabbing and he was seen limping across with a and they somebody suggested it might have been a knife in the leg but we can't go on that can we because it's just hearsay again but i don't know it's sort of strange that cactus in the leg knife in the leg trying to cover up or was he patched up somewhere along the line or did he have a cut but if you had a cut i don't know it must have been really delirious because even though it was said that he was scared because Lucy said he was scared. So we're taking that as fact. When he was scared to go back to the Airbnb, it was indicated he was scared, which is strange and suspicious. Anyway, I don't want to go into all that. Would I walk towards a cliff just because I've seen the sea and there's a foreshortening effect with the sea? Oh, that must be the beach. So even though it's an 11 hour walk, it might be a shortcut if I go to the beach and walk along the beach. You can't because it's all coves, isn't it? You can't walk along that beach, like 20 mile route. Would I 
walk down a dangerous ravine if my leg was badly cut, as he told Lucy, it's badly cut. When a road is not, say, 400 metres away, as the crow flies from where you are, and you can see the sea because the sea is quite vast. So you see the sea is over there. The road must be over there. He came in on the road to the Airbnb. So I just wonder why he'd then think, oh, I'm going to climb down this dangerous ravine with the bad cut in my leg. And not being a mountaineer, presumably not a hiker. Just seems all strange, doesn't it? Or was he pushed? Or planted? No, we're not allowed to say that. I know I'm being a bit pedantic. I get in these sort of strange moods come the afternoons. Just food for thought. And thank you. You've been watching Aldon's Reviews and True Crime.